in a taffy twist designed to create confection chaos. Dang it. This is cracking. But when the judges ask for their daily serving of vegetables made delectable. Oh, that's so earthy. Only those who can turn healthy into heavenly shall succeed. Things are going to get real. New episodes of Stargirl premiere Wednesday, August 31st, only on The CW. Now attend a trail of crime, chaos, and mayhem. A street takeover flash mob swarms a 7-Eleven, trashing the store and terrorizing a worker. Plus, an Army veteran and father of three stabbed at a local metro station and left with life-altering injuries. Tonight, he shares his story of the, of the apparent random attack only on five. And from the stage to a seat at the bargaining table, North Hollywood strippers launch a historic bid to unionize their fight to protect and Answers and leverage their power now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. An illegal street takeover develops into and devolves into chaos when a group of spectators storm a convenience store taking anything they can get their hands on. Police hoping newly released surveillance video will help them track down the criminals. KTLA's Rick Chambers live from the Harbor Gateway neighborhood with that video tonight. Rick. Yeah, Micah, these takeovers seem to be getting more and more violent as the weeks go on. Just 45 minutes before that takeover here in the Harbor Gateway area on late Sunday night, a 15-year-old boy was shot and killed at a takeover in Willowbrook. And police say tonight that they believe the people that were at that scene came here and looted the 7-Eleven. Detectives are reviewing store surveillance tape, frame by frame, face by face, trying to ID members of this mob that overran and looted a 7-Eleven early Monday morning. They're taking everything, whatever they can and get, uh, food, uh, cigarettes, lottery tickets, uh, at least someone tried to grab the, the, the cashier box. The rowdy group had been part of a rash of street takeovers late Sunday, this particular one at El Segundo Boulevard in South Figueroa. But as the tires were screeching outside, hundreds of spectators turned their attention to the spoils inside the store and its lone employee. They feared for their life and basically just kind of did whatever they couldn't retreat it back away from everybody. Um, there was no resistance, no fight put up. Police say they've taken prints from the counters and the shelves and the doors, but it's this video that will help most in identification. This could be someone that you might work with, you go to school with. It could be someone's kid or family or uh, an ex or something, but we really urge your help in having these people come forward. There are um, numerous charges that these guys are facing from vandalism, looting, um, grand theft. The store has been tidied up and reopened now, but investigators say the general public is just fed up with all the craziness and inconvenience of these gatherings and the criminal activity that always seems to accompany them. They were really upset. There were people on the freeway that were trying to really get to places they had to go. Some had family emergencies, and they're just sitting there stuck so these guys can do their thing. So people are getting really tired of this. And because of this community outcry, the LAPD now says it's going to be boosting resources and cracking down even harder on the takeovers. We'll have to wait and see if that works. In Harbor Gateway, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in the studio. Rick, thank you. At least two people are dead following a mid-air collision of two small planes. The crash happened shortly before 3 o'clock this afternoon over Watsonville Municipal Airport, about 16 miles east of Santa Cruz. The FAA says both planes were coming in for a landing when they collided, then plummeted to the ground. One person was aboard a Cessna 152. Two people were aboard a Cessna 340. The identities of the the victims have not been released. Incredible video of the moment the driver of an SUV loses control and drives right into a house, just missing a man inside and his two dogs. The SUV went directly into the bottom floor of this house in Huntington Beach around 12.15 this afternoon. The homeowner says that he was sitting in the room the SUV demolished and incredibly the man got up to use the restroom just moments before impact. The driver suffered minor injuries. That driver's identity has not been released, and the cause of the crash is still under investigation. The home is now red tagged. A ruptured water main flooding streets in the Pacific Palisades as crews work to contain that damage. The eight inch pipe burst around seven o'clock tonight on North Las Casas Avenue just off sunset. Sky 5 was over the scene as the water gushed on surrounding streets.